This is the sofa button X2 Universal Remote Control. It is the upgrade of the X1S and in fact it is a huge upgrade. So in this video I'm gonna tell you briefly what are the upgrades and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. I'm gonna also show you how to program an activity on it and at the end I'm gonna tell you its strengths and weaknesses. So let me start first by telling you what are the upgrades. So for the changes, they are not all upgrades. There are a couple of things that are better on the X1S. So first of all, the hubs are almost the same. So I'm going to remove them. The first thing that you can see in front of you is the construction of the X2. So it is made of metal and then it has textures plastic here, whereas the X1S is all made of plastic. The second thing is the thickness of these remote controls. So the X2 is 10 millimeters thick when the X1S is 15 millimeters thick. And also the X2 has touch controls and also it has physical controls when the X1S has only physical controls. And the touch controls are much more intuitive than the physical controls of the X1S. What's also obvious is the screen of the X2 that is now in color and it is very nice when the screen of the X1S is monochrome. The X2 has one functionality that is lacking in the X1S and it is the sleep timer for an activity so it will turn off the activity automatically. This is not existent in the X1S. And also the X2 comes with this charging dock to keep it charged. When the X1S you have to plug it only with USB-C. Of course the X2 also you can charge it with the USB-C port. Now the two things that are better in the X1S is first the battery life. It is estimated at 45 days when the battery life of the X2 is estimated at 30 days. But because it has this charging dock, you put it each night in the charging dock so it will be always charged. And the second thing is that the X1S is only 123 grams when the X2 is 181 grams. Before showing you how to set it up, I want to show you what comes in its box and what are these components so that you know how to set it up. First, you have a charging dock and you have two infrared blasters. I'm not going to use them in my setup. These are to increase the infrared range in case you need it. You have the remote control, you have the hub, you have two chargers and also two USB-A to USB-C cables, one for the hub and one for the charging dock. And you have also a reset pin in case you need it. So you have a reset pinhole here on the remote control. And depending on the package, it might also come with this infrared repeater that I'm not going to cover in this video. Now on the hub, you have these ports. You have two ports here for the infrared blasters and you have the USB-C power port. And this is the button to put it in pairing mode. So now let's go and set it up. The first step in the setup process is to install the sofa button application on your smartphone and connect your smartphone to the 2.4 GHz network on your home network. The second step is to power on the hub that came with the X2. When the hub is powered on, you need to press on this button here for 3 seconds to put it into pairing mode. And here it is blinking. So now open the sofa button application and go back and then tap on X series and then tap on setup new hub and then tap on next and here we already pressed the button for three seconds so select the blue indicator of the hub is blinking and then tap on next and wait for it and here it found it so select it sofa button X2 and now it is detecting the networks and you need to select the 2.4 GHz network and here I'm selecting my 2.4 GHz network and you need to put the password to your network and then tap on provision and wait for it to be connected to your Wi-Fi network and here's the hub connected to my Wi-Fi network tap on done the first thing I want to do here is to check for firmware updates so I'm gonna tap on it here and here you see that it needs upgrade so I'm gonna upgrade it and here it is upgrading and here's the message saying that the upgrade was successful tap on sure and wait for the hub to restart and here's the hub restarted so tap on it to connect to it the second step is to make sure that the remote control is paired with the hub so on the application tap on me on the bottom and then tap on settings on the x2 hub and then tap on paired remotes and you see here that we don't have any paired remotes so here you need to press on pair new remote and now on the remote tap on settings and then scroll until you find pair new hub 
tap on pair new hub and wait for it to pair with the hub and here you see that the pairing is successful so now when you pair the remote to the hub it will find out if it needs firmware upgrading and here it needs also firmware upgrading so tap to upgrade the firmware of the remote now and this is a warning message saying that the remote should be 50 percent charged or more here it is 100 percent for me and also it says to keep the remote near the phone to start the upgrade tap on ready and when the upgrade finishes you'll get this message saying update successful tap on sure I want to show you now how to add devices a device is for instance a TV a stereo speakers whatever you want to control with this combo so to do this you need to launch the sofa button application on your smartphone and then here go to devices on the bottom and then click the plus so you need for instance to add your tv here i'm gonna add my roku tv and my roku tv can be controlled either with infrared or with wi-fi i'm gonna choose wi-fi it's easier and then i'm gonna tap on control wi-fi device and here i'm gonna choose roku and it's gonna go on my network and it's gonna fetch all my roku tvs i have three roku tvs here and i'm gonna select my philips tv and notice the warning here it says that if it doesn't work you need to go to the settings system advanced system settings on your roco tv and then select control by mobile apps network access and then change the setting to permissive so when you make sure that your roco tv is set up like this tap on ok and then tap on submit and now it's downloading the code from the database it's gonna upload it to the hub and the hub is gonna synchronize it to the remote control and all this is gonna happen automatically and now tap on complete now i want to add my stereo speakers which are the edifier r 1700 bts and they are not in the database so i'm gonna add them by making the hub learn the commands from the remote control of my edifier speakers so here i'm gonna tap on the plus sign once again and my edifier speakers will work with infrared so i'm gonna select infrared and this time i'm gonna select learning and not search in database and it is an audio so i'm gonna tap on audio and here it's asking me if there's a power key to power on and off my stereo speakers or if i have separate power on and power off buttons so on my edifier remote i have only one button so i'm gonna select only a power key and then next and here i need to teach the hub all the commands so the first command i'm gonna teach it is the power key you need for each one here to tap on to learn here and then i'm gonna show you how to do this so let's tap on to learn next to the power so now you need to put the remote control on top of the hub like this and then press the button that you wanted to learn so here it's the power key i'm gonna press it it's a short press and you see that it learned it and i'm gonna continue to make it learn everything here and my edifier speakers have many inputs line one line two and bluetooth and I want to learn the buttons on the remote control, the color buttons here, these inputs. So I'm going to start with the red and the red is going to be line one. And this will help me in programming the activity later on. You're going to see how I'm going to use it. And when you finish teaching the commands to the hub, press on next here. And then select where you want to save the commands. I'm going to save all the commands to the hub. So here you need to name it because we didn't get it from the database. And I'm gonna name it Edifier R1700BTS and then tap on complete. Now that we've added the devices, I'm gonna show you how to create an activity and I'm gonna call it Watch TV. It's gonna combine the functions of the TV and the speakers. Before doing this, you need to configure each device. See here it says not configured, and the configuration is only the power on, off, and the input selection. So I'm gonna start with the Edifier R1700 BTS speakers, and then we need to configure first the power settings. So tap on power settings, and then we're gonna enable the power control for this device, and we need to add the command to turn it on and to turn it off. So here on turn on, tap on the plus sign, and then to turn it on, choose the power here, and then for the turn off, tap on turn off here, and then also tap on add step, and choose also power and then tap on complete now i want to set up the source configuration in case you need to change inputs for your activity and here my watch tv activity needs to change input to line one because the speakers are connected on line one to the tv so tap on source configuration and then tap i need to switch input and then go to configure and here choose direct input switching and next 
and remember we've put line one on red so i'm gonna choose red here and then confirm and then complete and complete once again so now the edifiers are set up for the activity we need now to set up the tv so tap on not configured near the tv and then do the same thing so tap on power settings yes enable automatic power control next and the turn on activity it was already selected power on which is good and the turn off it is also selected so tap on complete and for the tv i don't need to change inputs so i'm gonna tap on back and now to create the activity watch tv tap on activities and then tap on the plus sign and here simply select next and for the edifier once again it's asking me if i need to change input so i'm gonna tap on select input the red input and then back and then next and then next and here it's asking you if your current devices are turned on or turned off for me they are turned off now so i'm gonna select turned off and then tap on next and this prompt is asking you if you want to control the volume on your speakers or on your tv for me i want to control the volume on my tv so i selected the tv instead of the speakers and then tap on next and all the other controls also i want to control them with my tv so i keep it on tv selected and then tap on next and the same for the soft keypad also i'm gonna keep it for my tv and the name it's not listen to music it gave me this name i don't know why i want to change it and i'm gonna call it watch tv as we said and if you want to change the icon you can change it here i'm not gonna change the icon i'm just gonna tap on complete and the watch tv activity is created and you can find it on the remote on the screen here so tap on the back on the remote here and go to activities and you see watch tv here so let's go and test it now so now let's try it you need on the remote control to go to activities and then see the watch tv activity you need to slide it to the right like this and now the tv will turn on and my edifier speaker also turned on now if i increase the volume like this notice on the top right corner it is increasing the volume to now overall i found that the universal x2 remote control is very good it has an excellent build quality it is versatile with all the protocols it supports infrared bluetooth wireless and radio frequency it is easy to set up and also it comes with this charging dock now its weaknesses is that it doesn't have voice control and you have to swipe the activity to start it i would have liked it only maybe to tap it or to press a button to start it and it is a bit expensive but you can offset its price with a coupon code that I'm going to leave in the description. And if you make a purchase using the coupon code and my link in the description, I'm going to gain small percentage, but this is at no cost to you. And this will support my channel. And if you like my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you on the next video.